The following video shows the proper techniques for cleaning the front of house floors in a Cheddar Scratch Kitchen restaurant. These instructions must be strictly adhered to in order to keep the floors as clean as possible. Cleaning the front of house floors is a very important task and one that should not be taken lightly. Keep in mind that clean floors are an essential part of floor safety. This video will give you all the information needed to get the job done right. Before getting started, let's go over what tools we'll need. A clean mop bucket that rolls smoothly. A clean microfiber mop head that is in good condition along with a solid mop stick. A dual surface deck brush and handle. A broom and dustpan. And wet floor signs. If these tools are not readily available, or if they are not in good shape, please let your supervisor or the GM know. He or she will make sure that you have the tools you need. First, we'll fill a mop bucket about three quarters full of SureGrip Daily Cleaner. Always use a dispenser like this one to ensure that it is mixed correctly. If the dispenser is broken or if the SureGrip jug is empty, let your supervisor know. SureGrip's 1-800 number is on the dispenser as well as on the SureGrip jug. Never use another water source along with the SureGrip dispenser. This will only dilute the product and it may not perform as it should. Do not use straight hot water as it can cause damage to the grout lines. Use only cold or warm water. Never use boiling water from the kettle to clean the floors. It is dangerous and against Cheddar's policy. If you have to use SureGrip without a dispenser, simply measure out three ounces for every gallon of mop water. Now it's time to prep the floors. First, sweep the floors taking care to get the debris along the edges, in the corners, and under tables. Always place wet floor signs in conspicuous areas where you will be cleaning. This will warn others that the floors may be slippery when wet and will also keep them from tracking up the clean wet floors. Now you are ready to begin mopping. Start by cleaning the area furthest away from the kitchen because those areas are less dirty. The first thing you will do is wring out your mop with medium pressure. When mopping floors, it is very important to take your time and overlap your mop strokes. Make a figure eight pattern while mopping. Each stroke should overlap the previous. Flip your mop head over from time to time so you're always using a clean side. Don't forget the corners and edges. Re-dip your mop head regularly so that the emulsified contaminants you have mopped up can be released back into the bucket. Now, proceed by mopping all areas that only require regular mopping. When the cleaning solution in your mop bucket becomes visibly dirty, it is time to dump the bucket and refill it with fresh solution. If you do not change out the cleaning solution when it becomes dirty, you are merely spreading the contaminants you have just mopped up throughout the restaurant. Now it is time to address the transitional areas of the restaurant. These areas are generally the dirtiest areas in the front of house and will require some heavier cleaning. Transitional areas are the areas that connect the kitchen with the front of the house. This is where a lot of the contaminants from the kitchen get tracked off, and it is very important to use the heavy cleaning methods in these areas every day. When dipping your mop, leave it wet and apply more cleaning solution to the floor. Now, let the cleaning solution sit for a moment, usually between 30 seconds and one minute. The longer you let it sit, the more time it has to interact with the contaminants and break them down so they can be mopped up and removed from the floor. This is especially important when removing grease and oil. After the cleaning solution has had a chance to start breaking down the contaminants, add some agitation. This is done by using a deck brush. You will notice immediately that when using this enhanced method of cleaning, the cleaning solution will become very dirty. This is a good thing. It means you are breaking down the contaminants. Now wring out your mop tightly and mop up the dirty solution. You may have to do this multiple times in order to remove all of the emulsified contaminants. Remember, it is imperative that you change your mop water out multiple times through the cleaning process. If you do not change out the solution, you're merely spreading the emulsified contaminants throughout the restaurant. You may also use a shop vac to extract the emulsified contaminants. First, squeegee the contaminants together into a smaller area and extract with the wet vac, then simply rinse the floor. This method of cleaning will ensure that the contaminants are effectively removed from the floor. You should always leave equipment in good condition so it is ready for use for the next person. 
Never leave the mop in the bottom of the bucket because it will sour and make the restaurant smell bad. So let's recap. Make sure when sweeping to get corners, edges, and around table legs. Always place wet floor signs in conspicuous places before mopping. Take your time. Overlap your mop strokes using a figure eight pattern. Use heavy cleaning method for problem areas, especially the transitional areas. Clean up your mop and bucket after you're finished. Thank you and remember that clean floors are safe floors.